Now to the most serious health concerns. Now that they've all abated, some are starting to question who's responsible for yesterday's forced evacuation. The WCPO 99 team has been working on that today. And during our investigation, we learned about the class action lawsuit that was just filed today. I team reporter Dan Monk explains what else we learned. It didn't take long for the Central Railroad of Indiana to address the question of blame. Probable cause was that the additive stabilizer in the car became ineffective. CEO Mike Miller said the rail car was not to blame. I can only say what I know. The car worked exactly the way the car was designed. That car was supposed to vent versus explode, and that's what happened. So we believe the car was in good condition. And he added the car and the styrene inside belonged to the Ineos plant in Addiston. That tanker car is either owned or leased by the customer. Um, and it's, Ineos is the shipper of that, that commodity, so it's, it's their car. Ineos is a UK-based chemical company that bought the former Monsanto plant in 2007. Two years later, it signed a $5.1 million consent decree with the US EPA to address pollution problems at the Addiston plant. We reached out to Ineos but didn't get a response. In the meantime, local governments are keeping tabs on what they've spent for yesterday's incident, as I-Team reporter Paula Christian learned from Whitewater Township ship trustee Guy Scheibel. But at some point, I'm sure the township's going to want to recoup the cost of what this has cost in overtime, in other costs. Uh, I mean, do you agree? Well, I, yeah, and I mean, I, I guess as time goes on and you look at the responsibility, I guess we'll look into that as time really not put much thought into it at this point. The main focus right now is just getting it done, getting getting it secured, getting everybody back home, make sure everybody's healthy and there's no problems. And then we'll address anything else as we go down the road. One thing is clear, the companies involved in this incident have deep pockets. Ineos operates in 29 countries with annual revenue of nearly $70 billion. And the Central Railroad of Indiana is owned by Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, whose publicly traded stock is worth more than $15 billion. In the newsroom, Dan Monk, WCPO 9, I-Team.